going to fit some auxiliary lights and they're going to be uh, small bike viz spots and I'm going to fit them to the engine bars on this bracket. So I'm just tightening up the Allen key a bit before I twist it round because it's easier to get at this angle. Right, that's my LED sat in the bracket. Yeah, never cut your cables till you get your final position. I had uh, these spots down here. I thought they'd be nice down here, but I'm just thinking they're a bit too close to that hot exhaust. So I've brought them up to the top of this engine bar. It's looking like a nice spot. Okay, so that's my relocated spot there. Wiring hidden away on that frame tube with cable ties. I've got an auxiliary connection up in that headlight. And what I could do is just uh, splice these together and power those LEDs off that auxiliary headlight. But that's, that's only because I know these are very low draw. Um, I'm going to switch those off that relay that I've just put at the back there. So um, I'm going to push this wiring back down underneath my fan. So these are bank visits, optional uh, crash bar mounts or engine bar mounts. And they come with varying bits of rubber uh, for different sizes of bars. Uh, they're really for their larger spots. But what I've done is I've drilled an extra hole in this top piece uh, to take the cable from the bottom of the bullet LED. <laughs> mounted on there because it's kind of hard on a naked bike to find somebody to fit these so they've worked well so that's the uh, bike viz optional mounting brackets this would look nice actually with their uh, full auxiliary light on there uh, it'd be a nice job actually and you could modulate those as well so I could have done exactly the same thing mm -hmm. 